Hi, everybody. Hey, Dr. Howe, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Jordan? Good, doing well. It's been a good day. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just, I'm a little bit late because I was watching the inauguration and I had to go back and rewatch uh, Kamala Harris's uh, <laughs> inauguration. And so, sorry, my face is a little red right now. <laughs> Amanda Gorman, too. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's an exciting time, I'm, yeah. I have to say. Cheers. I, you know, whatever our, our persuasions are, I'm celebrating today. <laughs> Yeah, it was great. Hi, Khadija, Pierre, Joanna. Hi, Dr. Hallisey. Good afternoon, Dr. Howe. Hi. Who is that? Hi. Who is that? Was that Pierre? Yes, Pierre. Excellent. <laughs> Joanna, do you guys want to turn your cameras on or, or are you good, good without them? I can turn it on, yeah. It would be nice to see your faces. <laughs> Hi, Joanna. <laughs> oh, hi, Dr. Halsey. You don't have to turn yours on. I know you're good. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm an obedient student, Tanya. I'll, sounds, I'll, sounds I'll do good. it. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Um, I did send out a note to the full time faculty. I'm going to send one out to everybody, um, you know, today, later today. And, uh, and expect something in the mail, okay? Um, but um, turn your camera off, okay? <laughs> Just do you, right? <laughs> Pierre and Khadija though, I'm gonna ask you if you can to turn your cameras on just cause, um, I mean, I'm gonna be sharing my screen for the most part. So, you know, you don't really need to, to look at yourself or you're not gonna see yourself or whatever. But if you feel, if you feel okay with it, I encourage you to do so. Um, well, welcome. Yay. I'll give it a couple more moments just in case anybody else wants to show up. But um, uh, this is great. This is the first time we've done this. Uh, and I think that it's a really, hopefully going to be a really valuable um, thing to kind of continue um, as uh, we, we move on uh, because our interns are uh, required to have a journal or a blog. Um, you can keep it in hard copy with a pencil and a pen, you know, in a, in a notebook, um, but it becomes very challenging to kind of keep that up and to share it, especially in COVID era. And also the internship is really all about professionalization. So despite my t-shirt, sorry, y'all, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing geek today. <laughs> Um, it's all about professionalization and one really big part of that is, you know, knowing at least a little bit uh, about how to, how to create a website, right? Um, and to just feel a little bit more comfortable with that. You do not have to be an expert, you know, you don't have to write your own plugins. You don't even have to add anything. You don't have to do anything except for use the technology that's sort of there for you to use, right? Um, but having a presence, um, you know, online uh, will be really useful to you, um, even if it's uh, a non-updated pre presence, even if it's just a website that you put up there with contact information, you can share it with people. Um, if you do want to do a little bit more with your website, right, um, this is a really great way to start. Okay, you can keep writing samples up there. Uh, you can keep a log of your um, professional thoughts. You can keep a Twitter stream, um, you know, all kinds of, of different things. Um, for, uh, for the internship, um, what you're gonna be doing is basically keeping track on a daily or a weekly basis. Hi, Pierre. Um, I'm excited to have you in, in 231 this term too. Just a little, little side note. <laughs> Um, but one of the things you're going to be required to do with your internship blog is to kind of on a weekly basis or daily, depending on, you know, your druthers, um, keep a record of the things that you're doing in your internship, uh, keep a record of the kinds of writing you're doing, uh, the kinds of projects you're working on, what you're learning, what you're thinking about, um, and this will then become the basis for your final reflective paper. Okay, um, which is the other, which is sort of the final component, the academic component, um, the final academic component of the internship. So, uh, so I'm hoping that this, um, that this sort of little workshop will allow you to do, will allow you to start your blog if you're doing your internship now. That's great. You can use this as a place to start it and, and continue it. If you're not doing your internship now and you just want to learn a little bit more about how to use WordPress and how to create a blog or 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 a static website because um, WordPress allows you to do both. 
hopefully this will be a, you know, a good place for you to start. Okay, so um, so can I get a, a just a little head count right now about how many people are working on this, particularly for their internship? I know Joanna because we've talked about it, and Jordan. Okay, um, Pierre, what about you? Are you just here to learn? Um, I'm just here to learn. I think I need to. I think I should meet with someone to discuss what are the the necessities for my internship. What are you know? What are the things that are required of me? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, uh, we can meet at any time. Um, I'm happy to uh, convey that information with you. We also have some fantastic upper class people. We've got Jordan and Joanna and Alicia, who, who may be joining us a little bit later. I'm not sure. Um, they're out their blogs and, and doing all of that, that process. And Jordana just went through, sorry, Jordana, Joanna just went through the process of, uh, of getting her internship approved, you know, into Handshake. And I know that we had some, some difficulties there. It's a little bit of a, you know, it's a system that you have to learn and it has a lot of moving parts, but it's not, it's not rocket science. It's just, it just involves, you know, you reaching out to the right people. So set up an appointment to meet with me and we'll go over it. Um, but uh, that's great. Okay. Um, Khadijah, what about you? I just saw about this um, event in the website, I mean, in the email and I was like, wait, let me go see. Excellent. So there's no particular reason. Mm -hmm. Just want to learn. That's perfect. Yes. Yes. Right? Um, okay, so um, so I just want to start with a little bit of uh, sort of a show and tell just to kind of give you a sense of what you can do. Um, so uh, there's some things on the chat here. Sorry. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to show you my personal website, um, which is where I, I do have a blog. I haven't really updated. I've been a very bad um, writer recently uh, due to all sorts of reasons, which I won't go into here. But, uh, but I'm going to show you my website, um, which is built on WordPress. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to talk you through a little bit of kind of the general distinctions between, you know, some of the general sort of features of WordPress, and then I'll show them to you. And I'll have you kind of walk along and actually go through the process of creating your own, okay? It's really not hard, um, but it does have a little bit of a learning curve um, to do some of the more advanced things with it. Um, so my personal website, um, and you can, you, you know, I host mine on my own um, on my own server, uh, but you don't have to host it on your own server. You can just, you could, you could, in fact, at this very point in time, get your own domain name with something like Wix. Um, oops, sorry, this is the back end, um, which I'll show you. It looks complicated. Don't freak out. <laughs> All right, so here's my personal website. Okay, I'm actually in the process of getting an updated domain name so that it's not this quote from Finnegan's Wake that nobody knows. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, here here's my personal website. I start with an about page, right, and it's got lots of links here that will take you to different things. Um, I have my Gravatar image here. I have a link to my CV, my pro pro promotion portfolio, different tags that I've cited that I've used to sort of categorize things I've written about. Um, some recent posts down here, some recent comments that I've made or other people have made, a little footer, that's what this part is called, um, of links, you know, things that I, um, that I want to have sort of frequent access to. And then up here, I have a navigation um, tool, right, that allows me to sort of organize the parts of my site. Right? Um, so I have the landing page, and that's the key term that you'll want to kind of keep in mind, the landing page, how are your readers going to initially come at your page, right? WordPress defaults to the blog, okay, which is basically um, a, a reverse chronological order, right, um, collection of the different posts that you make. Okay, just like a, like a blog, right? As you, you should know about, hopefully, right? People, people know what blogs are, right? Kind of do, uh, it's journaling, but online, right? So your most recent post is first and your oldest posts are last and it just puts them up there. So WordPress, when you set it up from scratch, it defaults to a blog because that's how WordPress sort of began, right? It was a blog, blogging platform. But you can set it up to be a kind of static web page if you want um, as well. That doesn't even have a blog feature. It just lo looks like a regular web page, right? Um, but I set mine up to start at the about page, to sort of land at the about page. And then I 
put a sort of separate place where um, where I keep my blog, um, which again hasn't been updated for a year. So you know, apologies to that. <laughs> um, and then I have, and you can see here, this one is March sixteenth. Um, these are teaching toolbox things that I've done, right? And you can see the dates and and whatnot. So if you're setting yours up for your internship, you would use your blog. The simplest way to do it is basically just to use your blog as a place to say week one, week two, week three, whatever. Okay. Um, I have a page that's called current projects. Uh, and that is sort of collection of links. It's nothing fancy, right? I have um, a CV page uh, that is on WordPress. Okay. But I also have a full CV or resume, right? That's on my um, Google Docs account. And this, you know, you can print and whatever, right? Um, so it's a collection of kind of links and, and other things, right? Your your page. Um, sorry, where did I, where did I go? Here it is, okay. Uh, and then I've also, because I've been kind of job hunting recently, right? I also created a page that's called resume because a CV is sort of different from a resume. So, um, so I have my resume here that you can, it's two pages and there, this is the image of it, but you could download the PDF here, okay? Um, and then I've got them kind of broken up if you wanna see some you know, video work, right? You could go and look at this, right? Um, or if you wanted to see particular stuff about publications under the CV, right? You could, you could look at this, okay? So that's kind of basically what it is. You can keep it as up to date as you like, um, you know, or you can use it kind of as a place just to direct people to it's got your contact information right like this down here. Um, and and it's just sort of there as a as a sort of digital version of you right. Um, so this is mine right uh, and um, and I created this on WordPress okay and WordPress is what Marymount has we have a. Um, uh, we have a system wide and university wide installation of WordPress. So you can actually create as many websites as you want, as many blogs as you want. You can create one for each class that you take from your first year to your last year, right? <laughs> you can do as many as you want. Um, and it's all part of, um, you know, what, what your tuition goes for, basically. Um, and uh, so I'm going to show you how to kind of set that up, okay? Um, so I have created a, uh, a, a YouTube playlist, actually. Let me see if I can pull it up really quick. So here's um, a YouTube playlist. I'm going to put this in the link, the, sorry, this link in the chat right now. And um, if you want to take a, where's the chat thing? Um, oh my gosh, more chat, okay. Um, oh, okay, great. Thank you, Joanna. Um, all right, so here is the link to my YouTube playlist. Now I set this YouTube playlist up, not for a blog, which has the reverse chronological order stuff, right? Um, but for a static website for students who wanted in my uh, nonfiction, sort of creative nonfiction class, they part of their work was to set up a, you know, a, a website um, for their writing, a portfolio for their writing. And, um, and they weren't required to do a blog. So this is set up to show you how to set up a static site, but it will walk you through all the basics of right doing this. So, um, so I'm going to ask you all right now um, to just sort of watch for a moment, I'm going to I'm going to take you to the place where you go to set up your blog. Um, I'm going to sort of set one up Okay, really quickly. Uh, and then I'm actually gonna ask you to do the same. Okay, make sense? Good to go? Okay, all right. So to get access to your blog, basically you just go to commons.marymount.edu. Okay, that's it. That's the URL, okay? I'm going to copy this and put it into the chat as well. Okay, so you go to commons.marymount.edu uh, and this will, sorry. Okay, uh, and this will take you to a sort of a landing page that, uh, that you haven't logged into yet. It's, this is what it looks like, right? You've got all of the different ways that you can blog. You've got a list of groups, people who are members, forums, all sorts of things that you don't really need to pay too much attention to. But these are some, um, some popular, um, you know, blogs. Uh, now to get access to this, okay, you, you, you're going to use your Marymount user ID and password. 
Okay. And you click this little login button right up here. It's very tiny, but I hope you can see it. I don't know what my percentage is. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So you use this little login button right here. Okay. Um, and you click that and it will ask you to log in. I might actually be logged in right now, um, but it, otherwise it will take you through the, you know, the, 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 the SSO thing where you put in your username and your password and whatnot. Um, but so, sorry, this one is actually asking me to log in. So I'm using my username, my Marymount username, and yours will be alphanumeric. Mine's not, but yours is the alphanumeric one, right? And your password. Now, I've updated my password, so this may or may not be the correct one. I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, is it making me do my cookies thing? Okay, yeah, so you sign in with your alphanumeric and your MU password, and then it will bring you back to basically the same place. Notice that it kind of looks exactly the same, except it doesn't have the login button up here anymore. It's got my sites and Marymount comments, okay? You wanna go to your sites, okay? And um, you will already have a blog set up a website that's set up and it will be the first one after Marymount Commons, okay? If you don't have anything in there, um, I have all of these different blogs and websites, right? On my Marymount um, domain, uh, but everybody at Marymount has already been set up with one um, and that's associated with your alphanumeric unique user ID, okay? But I'm just gonna show you how to create one. Maybe you, you just wanna learn how to create one from scratch, okay? Um, I am going to go to, where is it? Um, hang on a second. I'm going to go to blogs up here. Okay. And this will give me, once it creates, once it sort of populates, this will give me a list of all the different blogs at Marymount. And you can see all sorts of things. Like here's the actual banner, right? Their site icon is not, is broken, but whatever. Um, different people's portfolios. Here's the English department blog. I don't know why it has my face on it, but um, anyway, uh, the Cask of Amontillado, a student that I worked with did this one. Um, you've got lots of different things. Um, uh, all, these are all individual blogs. So you can browse if you want, but the obvious thing here is this create a site, right? So you click create a site, it's pretty simple. Okay. If you don't wanna use the one that's already created for you, but. Um, I'll, but that's, you know, it's already there. So, um, so I'll, I'll get you to that in just a sec. So you create a site. Um, what you want to do is give it a couple of pieces of information. Okay. You want to give it a site name. Now your site name, you cannot change. Okay. Um, if you, uh, the site name is basically, um, let me see, let me see how I can explain this. So see this website up here. See this URL, it says commons.marymount.edu, right? And then it says slash English, okay? This slash English is your site name, okay? Um, so if you choose something that is difficult to read or I don't know, um, your, your username, for instance, it might be difficult to find, that's really all because this becomes the URL as well and you can't change it later, okay? So if I click, if I hit enter and it will take you to the site and here's here's the English department's um, you know, blog site, right? Which is based on, on WordPress. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're going to um, create a, a, a site name for yourself. And you can create, it can be anything at all that you want. Um, it can be, um, be anything at all that you want. It could be, I don't know, somebody give me a name. I can't come up with anything right now. Give me a, give me a name for a website. Anybody? It, Dr. Just a, Howell's journal. Okay, so know. great. Thank you, Pierre. I'm going to call it Dr. Howe's journal. Okay. Now you might notice something about this it, fantastic example that Pierre gave me. Um, it has periods and spaces, uh, apostrophes, right? Capital letters and all of that sort of stuff. Okay. Let's just see what happens when I put that in. The site title, it doesn't really matter. Um, I can, um, I could, I'll just say the same thing. You can put anything you want here. Um, this is something you can change, right? You can put whatever you want there. Um, I can put, I can put the same thing, but I'm just going to call it site title because that way you'll know what the difference is. So anything you want. 
And then there's a little thing here about privacy. If you want your search, your site to appear in search engines, okay, or public listings around the network, you can choose. If you want it to appear, say in that list, right, then click yes. If you don't want it to appear, click no, okay? You want it to be a little bit more private, right? Click no. Um, I'm gonna say yes, because, you know, I don't care, right? <laughs> I want people to find it, right? Um, all right, now there's a problem, uh-oh, right? Uh, look at what happened. Does anybody see what happened here? What the problem is? Joanna, you're nodding your head. What's the problem? Added a slash. I assume you can't use apostrophes. Yeah. So see, it says you can only con it can only contain lowercase letters and numbers, right? Because the site title, remember, is that URL up here, okay? And you very rarely, if ever, I don't think you can, you ever find a URL with spaces in it or, you know, anything like that, right? So it has to be something that's one word or you can use underscores, right? Um, you just have to play around until you find one that works, but be careful because as soon as it collects, it, it, it connects, then that's your, that's your site. You can delete it, of course, but, you know, but you can't change it, okay? So let's do something like Dr. Howe's journal. Right, I, that may or may not work. The periods probably probably won't like the periods. But if I get rid of the periods and just did this, there's a there's a there's a site name. Okay, I'm going to create the site, and now it's working. Okay, done. Oh wait a minute, no, it's not. It's not working. What does it say? Lowercase. Oh, I have to create lowercase. Okay, so doctor. So now you can see why you want to kind of you want to find a, a name that you know works really well for you, right? Because this one. Who's gonna who's gonna put that in a URL? I don't know. Probably not me, right? <laughs> this should work. And of course, if this has been taken by someone else, then it won't work. Okay, you'll have to find a new one. It has to be unique, right? Because it's part of the URL. So, all right, great, yay! I have a blog. Okay, basically that's it. <laughs> so, if I click this, it will take me to the blog. And it sets it up with a very default kind of theme. And that's a term that you'll want to keep, keep in mind, a theme, OK? Um, so you'll see here my site title, right? I put, that's, that's where you set up that kind of idea. But you can change that. That's pretty easy to change. Here's a little tagline. You can change this as well. Um, you have a recent posts, all these things. It doesn't really matter, but it's set up here as a blog. Here's your first post. You know, You've got a little footer thing. Um, so that's basically all you do to create your site, okay? The hard part is kind of figuring out what you want to put there, how you want to organize it, uh, what kind of theme you want it to have, how you want it to look, okay? And all of that stuff. That's where the fun part is, okay? So, um, so now I'm going to show you um, basically how to get access to this. If you've already logged on, okay, you'll see this little navigation bar up here. Right. And if you're on your site, like here I am, Dr. How's journal, right, that that Pierre gave us. Okay. Um, and here's the site title. That's the title of the site. Uh, I want to go to uh, do, 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 site title. Of course, that's the title of the site. So it's not very descriptive, but you get the point. Okay. And there are these options here. Okay. Dashboard is the place. It's the back end. It's how you add things to the easiest way, the simplest way, the one-stop shop kind of place to do all the stuff you need to do, okay? So you want to go to the dashboard, okay? The dashboard looks like this, right? Um, you'll notice that there's a, a navigation panel here on the left-hand side, okay? And then you've got this main place here, this main window here, where uh, it has kind of a little rundown on, you know, what's what you can do dashboard at a glance stuff that's recently happened. If you want to write a quick post, you could do that here. New post one. Maybe this is my week one, blah, 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 blah. This is what I'm writing. Okay, this is a quick draft. I can save the draft, right? And there it is. It's called new post one. Okay, but it hasn't been published yet. Okay. So you've got a lot of things on your screen. Just be sure to look at them. It's pretty explanatory if you look at, you know, posts, media, pages, comments, appearance. It's pretty self-explanatory, okay? Um, once you feel like you have a kind of general navigational sense of the, the, of the space, but, um, but be sure. I just can't 
sort of iterate this enough, um, just read the screen. It's set up to be simple. Okay, so um, so read the screen, use your nugget up here to sort of observe it, right? Uh, and say, you know, okay, well, oh, look, if I wanna do a draft, well, obviously we all know as writers what a draft is, right? So here's where I can go to do a quick draft, okay? So it's set up to be simple, right? It's totally set up to be simple. There's some things you can do. I would say don't activate easy mode until you know what the heck you're doing, okay? <laughs> It's really better to just have a sense of what's going on before you do this. Um, so I'm not even going to turn that on. Um, so let's take a look at the dashboard over here. A couple things to keep in mind about creating a website for WordPress is that you have things called posts and you have things called pages. Okay. That's a key distinction, right? So just put that in your nugget and remember it a post versus a page. If you're setting up a blog, then you're going to want to use posts, okay? Because that's like I'm making a blog post, okay? If you don't want to do a blog and you want to have just a static web page, like I don't know, Marymount is actually using WordPress right now. Our university wide blog, our university wide website is using WordPress. So I can go on WordPress that looks exactly like this and change our department web page. Okay, <laughs> using exactly this stuff, but it doesn't use posts, it uses pages, okay, because it's not set up like a blog. Remember, blog is reverse chronological order, daily thoughts kind of thing, okay? Makes sense? Okay. So those are really the only two things I wanted to sort of draw your attention to right now. So why don't, um, why don't you go right now, okay, and uh, try to create your own blog? or your own website on Marymount Commons. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Um, I'm gonna shop, stop sharing my screen. Where is it? Um, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and, um, and I'm just gonna give you all some time to do that. And I'm gonna give everybody the ability to share their screen uh, if you need a walkthrough, okay? So go to, um, commons.marymount.edu, okay? Click login and then go to blogs and uh, see what it looks like first, okay? Um, see if, if you wanna use the blog that's there, by all means, go for it, right? But I would encourage you to try to set up a new one just so you know how the whole process works, okay? Go ahead and set up a blog. Um, you can delete anything you create later, but you cannot change that site name, remember that, okay? Um, and if anybody wants to share their screen with me and sort of, um, if you're having difficulty, I can help you. Okay, but let's just give it 10 minutes, five minutes or so. It really shouldn't take any time at all. <laughs> and if you have questions, just unmute yourself and let me know or pop it in the chat, okay? Hi, Dr. Peebles. Hello, Dr. Howe. Happy inauguration Hi, everyone. day. <laughs> yes, sorry, I was watching the inauguration and I, I know, uh, lost track too. of time. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I had a meeting that went till um, 1145. Oh. So I just made it in time to see uh, Vice President Harris sworn in. I know, I, I actually missed that part. I had to go back and rewatch it. I was looking, I was watching that, I dipped into the live thing around 1150. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then, uh, and then I was like, "Oh no, where is where is Harris?" You know, <laughs> so I had to go yeah. back. Okay, so can I show you where I am? Because I'm not sure. <laughs> go ahead, Joanna. Share your screen with me. Okay. So, when you said you drop down, you should have one automatically under there. Uh -huh. So, is this it? I, uh, let's see. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not sure. Go ahead and click add new. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just because I'm a faculty member. That might be the difference. Okay, so this is actually very helpful. So, um, yeah, I, I had one set up for me because I was a faculty member, I guess. It was just sort of there. So, um, so strike that. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, thank you, Joanna, for sharing this with me. So, yeah, go ahead and type a site name in there. Remember, this is the thing that you can't change. Okay. 
and it should be pro you want to have a, a simplest simple is better right like the married at mount english departments blog is called english right um, simple one word um, no caps right no periods or anything like that okay no spaces something that is you could just call it joanna if you wanted it depends on if there's anybody else out there who's created a blog called joanna <laughs> okay sometimes you might just do like joanna fitzpatrick right just put all one word joanna fitzpatrick that's a useful thing that people will often do just to kind of make it um simple and unique right okay i'm just gonna do my fits. yeah and then this can be anything right it can be anything yep Yep, blog post by Joanna, right? Or something like that, okay? Good. And create site. Go ahead and create the site. Okay. All right, so it's done. That's done. <laughs> so now notice um, that um, your URL there, commons.marymount.edu slash jfitz, okay? You can now copy that, stick it in the chat, send it to somebody an email, put it in your, um, put it in your, you know, signature line, if your email account, okay, it's there, people can go to it. Easy, easy peasy. Okay. So go ahead and click on it. And let's just see what's at, what it says. This will probably take you to a blank page. Okay. Um, now, this is your public facing page. You'll notice at the top, it said it has the URL commons.marymount.edu slash jfitz, okay? So you can go here. You can, you can if you wanna make, add a post, um, you don't even have to be logged in at, the, at that time. You can just go to this webpage. Um, and uh, the way to get easy access to it, a lot of times people will um, have difficulty with finding how, how to actually get to the back end if you're not already logged in. So the simplest thing to do is, um, can I actually ask you, Joanna, to be our guinea pig? Can I, can I ask you to log out? So if you go to your name, Joanna Fitzpatrick over here, yep, and pull that down and says log out, okay? So now you're logged out, you're back at the Marymount University thing, okay? Go back and type in your URL. So commons.marymount.edu slash jfitz. Okay. okay. The, so up okay. there. Yep. Okay. And hit enter. And so this is what the public sees. Oh, you're all you're still logged in. That's weird. I don't oh. know why. Um, but that's okay. It doesn't, okay. it's not a, it's not a problem. I'm gonna show you all how to log on if you don't see all of this stuff up here. See how it says the W, my sites, blog post by Joanna, customize, all that stuff. You should only see that if you're logged in, okay? Okay, so uh, should I stop sharing? Uh, no, no, no. Um, what I want you to do is type in behind jfit slash, I want you to type in WP hyphen admin and hit enter, okay? This is the direct link to your dashboard, okay? And if you are not logged in and you type this in your URL, it will ask you to log in and then it will take you right here to your dashboard, okay? The reason I'm telling you this is not to confuse you, okay? It's just to give you a simple way to access because sometimes people forget that you have to go to commons.marymount.edu and then you have to log in there and then you have to navigate to your URL and you just, all of this stuff, okay? And um, I'm gonna share my screen now. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to show you why this is useful. Okay. So if I go to um, my, so here's my Dr. House journal that I just set up, but I'm going to actually go back to my, um, to my personal website. Okay. Um, see how this is my regular website, serosia.org. Okay. Just like commons.marymount.edu. But if I want to access this, of course, I'm logged on, right? If I want to get to my back end, let me log off and I'll show you. Um, it sounds funny, right? If I want to get to my back end, um, that's not meant to be funny, but <laughs> it is. Um, I'm going to log out. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my website and I should be logged out. Okay, good. So see how you don't see the stuff up here? You don't see that information, but I want to, I don't want to you know, go to some other way. I just want to, I just want to add a post. Okay. I'm going to type slash WP admin, WordPress admin. It's the same for every single WordPress site. When I go in to edit the university's web pages for English, 
that's what I type in. I type in marymount.edu slash WP admin and I log in, okay? Every single website that you will ever find that is built on WordPress, that's how you log in, okay? So I'm gonna click that and then it's gonna ask me to log in. And I think this is me. Um, all right, and now I'm here at my, I have many compromised passwords, sorry y'all. <laughs> and now I'm here at my at my dashboard. Okay, mine looks different because I've got stuff in mine, okay? Um, but it's basically got the same thing. It's got, you know, the name of my website up here. Um, I've got my, my name. Um, I've got this navigation thing over here. It's all basically the same, okay? So now that you've got your website set up, okay, and I want to go to um, the one that I just created, the site, uh, the Dr. House Journal, okay, um, I want to show you what themes are, okay. Uh, now, themes determines how your website looks, okay. So WordPress is set up with a kind of approach that is very much about parts, Okay, since we're dealing with English majors and minors here, okay, think about when you write an essay, okay, you've got your header up here, you've got your last name and page number up here, you've got your first page header with your name, blah, 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 you've got your title, and you've got the body of your essay, and you've got your works cited page, right, those are all parts, okay, WordPress is set up on this idea that those parts can be put wherever you want to put them, right, as long as you have something called a theme, that says put the page number header at in the bottom left hand corner okay so then whatever is called you know page number header you can put it wherever right but it's the themes job that does that that's what the theme does the theme takes all those parts and puts them in different places and gives you different background colors different font styles all sorts of different kinds of it's the look and feel but the content is all still there okay and that's why it's under appearance. Okay, so if you go to appearance and go to themes, and if you want to follow along with this on your own blog, you can. Okay. And uh, this is the page that will come up. Um, and I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller so I can see more on here. So these are all the different themes. You'll notice that these are all different. They look totally different. Okay. Um, these are all the different themes that you can use for your website. Okay, if you have your own page, your own server or whatever, you could add new themes, you could write your own theme if you get to that point, you know, you could buy a theme uh, and you can install it. Okay, but these are all pre installed. Okay, now some of the themes are not great. Okay, some of the themes are good for some things and not for others. Okay, so if you look at the way that they look on the page, you can see like um, here's your title, your site title. Um, here's the navigation thing. Here's the major main space. You know, it, it sort of gives you a little mini picture of what it will look like. Okay. But the content will all stay the same. So that's useful because you can export your site, stick it on a flash drive or email it to yourself, put it on your Google Drive. And then when you leave Marymount, you can reinstall it in any WordPress site and it will, and then adopt the theme and everything will still be there. You can make it look like anything you want. It's really useful. Okay. So some of the themes here are very text-based, like this one. There are no pictures on here at all, right? Here's one that looks kind of, it's a little bit crowded, but it's got a very basic setup where you've got an image, you've got a left-hand column, a right-hand column, and then a central column. Here's one that's sort of the same way, except for it's only got two columns, title, header image, main space, um, you know, right-hand column space. Uh, here's one that is also very much like that. You've got your header, you've got your image, you've got a left-hand column, you've got your main post page, right? and so on. You'll start to notice they're very similar um, once you start to think of that like parts, right? The parts of the of the web page. So here's here's a similar one, right? You got your image, you've got your navigation tabs, big main space, and then you've got some stuff over here, right? Navigation stuff. Okay. So think about organization when you organize your essays, right? You move paragraphs around. Basically the same thing that's happening here, okay? Some of the web pages though, the, some of the themes are better for um, uh, sort of artistic portfolio. So they're made more for image rather than text. And you'll usually be able to tell the difference because the, um, the images look different, 
right? Like this one just has a giant photo up there, okay? Showcase theme. The, those are the ones that are probably gonna be more art portfolio focused, okay? So I'm gonna encourage you to choose a text-based one because that's what we're doing for the most part, okay? So if you pick any one, um, I don't know, some of the, this one also is very, very visual, okay? Um, some good ones are really simple, easy to use, very non-buggy ones are things like um, the sort of basic WordPress sites like 2011, 2013, or 2010, or 2014, right? So these are the really basic ones that, that you can tell they're all using the same format, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013. These are the WordPress built themes. Okay, so pick one of those just to start with. Okay, I'm going to pick uh, 2011. Okay, so you can um, you can see theme details. Uh, you can activate it, or you can do live preview. So if I do live preview, you can see what it will look like with your content. Now I don't have anything in my content, right? It's blank, but this is but this is what it will look like. Okay. So let's say I just want to go with this. I'm going to go activate and publish. Notice that you uh, you should be able to change this. Uh, maybe not here, but somewhere else. I'm going to go ahead and activate and publish this. Okay. It's published. Now, if I go to commons.marymount.edu slash, what was it, Pierre? It was uh, edu. It was Dr. Howe's journal, right? Journal. Okay. If I go here, um, here's, here's my site. Done. I've totally changed look and feel of it, okay, based on that theme. Does that make sense? Okay, so the theme is what organizes like the look and feel of the thing, okay. Um, so go ahead and pick one. You can change it later. Don't worry too much, but pick a text-based one, one that has got lots of text visible on the theme. Go ahead and pick one. Um, and, uh, and just give me a little thumbs up in the bottom when, you, when you've done that. And you, you can spend all day like doing this. I know I'm playing around with it. Excellent, Pierre, that's great. Did you say we press activate? Yep, you can press activate. You can, if you do the live preview, then you can do publish and activate. Or if you just see one that you like, click activate. You can do it from a couple different places. You can also go and view your site up here when you click, see it says site title, that's what I called mine. I can click visit site and it will take me to the public facing website there. Okay. So all of these things are things that can be changed. But once you've got one picked, give me a little thumbs up. Pierre's already got his done. All right, great, Jordan's got his done. Khadija, how's it going? Dr. Peebles, how's it going? I think you can guess what I'm doing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that is a double meeting, but I'm just catching up on all of those emails I have to return to students yeah, who yeah. Um, were asking to be let into my classes and I have to say no. Yep. I hate those emails. I know, I know. Anyways, <laughs> segue. How's it going, Joanna? Good to go? Okay. All right, so now you've got a basic site. You can give your, your URL to anybody and it will take them to this page. Of course, there's nothing on it though, right? So, you know, we got to fill it with stuff, okay? Oh, Tanya, uh, I did have a question. Yeah. Sorry, if you're going to get to this later, that's great. Um, but what's always puzzled me about WordPress, and it's been mm -hmm. a few years since I tried this, is how to add plugins or widgets. Yeah, I just, yeah. So okay. I don't know if you're planning to cover that today or not, but that's... Yep. Yeah, so I, I do want to get, I, I will get to that. Now, you, okay, can, you won't be able to add new ones yourself, okay, because the uh, the IT folks have it kind of locked down because it's a security issue, right? Mm, but mm -hmm. given the plugins that already exist and that have already been installed site-wide, you can add among those, okay? So the, the selection is just a little bit limited, right? But I'll show you how to do that, okay? So um, but that actually leads me into a good, into a, a sort of a segue. So um, all the, I told you about how the WordPress site is sort of based on themes and the themes rearrange parts of the page, basically, okay? So you've got your header image up here, 
okay? It could be smaller, it could be larger, it could be a different image, right? But it's always gonna be in that place and generally speaking in that place, okay? So logically you could change this. Here you have a navigation structure, okay? Um, right now it just has a home page and a sample page, but you can change what the home page is, right? You could change, you could add more pages here, you could change the way that that navigation thing looks, but it's still a navigation thing, okay? Over here you've got your main blog sites, okay? Um, but like, like I did with mine, if I wanted to start it not on my blog, I could start it on just a, an about me page, I, I can do that, but it's going to be in this spot, right? Because that's where that's where uh, the theme puts the main visible space, the main visible stuff, okay, is it is there. Whatever you wanna put in there, you can put in there, but that's the sort of space that you have. Over here, we've got another navigation sort of um, panel, okay? And this is where widgets come in, okay? So you see this little chunk here, it's called meta. Mm -hmm. Those of you who are lit majors, right, will know exactly what this means, okay? <laughs> Here's another place where you can, this is sort of all the, it's like the, it's about the website, right? It's like the more, the, the, about the back end of the website. If you wanna log out, if you wanna go into your dashboard, if you wanna do any kind of like technical stuff, this is the site, this is the sort of place where that is. And this is what's called a widget. I can remove this chunk here, okay? I can say, I don't, I don't want people to see that, right? Because I'm really the only one who needs to see it. And I know that I can just go up here and type WP admin and get in. I don't need this whole thing here. It just takes up space. I don't want it. I don't want to see it. Okay, I can remove it. It's a widget. I just delete it. Okay. Um, categories. This also is a little widget. If I don't want, if I don't want to keep, if I don't want to have a, a sort of a, if I don't want to keep a blog that has categories of things associated with it, I can get rid of it. Okay. Archives. I don't want people to be able to search my archives. Fine, I can get rid of it. Recent comments. I don't want people to look at people's comments. I don't even want to have comments on my web page. I can get rid of this. Okay. <laughs> Recent post search. This too is a widget. Okay. And there are lots of different widgets that you can add. Okay. So in mine, if you take a look at, let me see if I can find it. Um, my, my personal website, you'll see here's the header. I just, I chose not to put a picture up there, right? <laughs> here's my um, navigation structure. Here, instead of a blog section, I've just got an about page. And here's the left hand, the right hand navigation column where I've just got, here's, this is plain text. I stuck an image in there and I put some text with some links. I put a widget that tags all of the different posts that I've written. Here's everything that's categorized teaching, okay? And you'll see, here's, here are all the things that have been categorized teaching, okay? So it's a way to kind of organize your, your blog posts, okay? This works really well for blog posts. Here's my search thing. I could move this up here or down here. I've got a list of recent posts, recent comments, but I don't have, I don't, I don't believe I have admin. No, I don't. I got rid of the meta thing because I know that I can just go and type WP admin. It's easy enough. Okay. So, all right. Does that kind of make sense? All right. I'm really big in kind of helping make to make sure people understand yes, what thanks. they're doing before, you know, you just sort of get into it. But um, all right. So I want to go back to my dashboard. So go ahead and go back to your dashboard. I'm going to go to site title. I'm going to go to dashboard. This is the back end, right? And I'm going to show you where all those things are. So again, it has to do with appearance. So where do you think it's going to be? Using your nugget? Under appearance, right? <laughs> uh, it's really intuitive, okay? If you, if you, you know, just look at it, right? Um, so here's the widgets thing. You also have to know what the terms are, right? Because otherwise you won't be able to find them even if you know what you're talking about. So I'm gonna click widgets. Okay. And notice that you've got a couple things here. You've got all of the available widgets over here, all of this stuff over here, all the things I can work with, okay? Here's my main sidebar, my showcase sidebar, my footer area one, footer area two, footer area three, right? So remember when I told you about the spaces of the theme? right, the spaces that are made available, this is how you change them, okay? So let me just take you to this site. I'm gonna show you so you can sort of, I'll toggle back and forth so you can see, I'll make some changes and you'll be able to see what ha what's happening. Did I mistype anything now? Okay, so here's the main page. This is what it looks like, site title, hello world. And then I've got this stuff over here, okay? So, Main sidebar, oh, look at this, search. Let's move it down here. 
underneath the meta. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my page and I'm going to refresh it. Oh, look, the search moved down there. Okay, do you see what happens? Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, <laughs> if you want to delete anything over there, you just uh, click delete, right? If you want to move anything over here, let's say I don't want this meta, let's just get rid of that. Boom, done. Okay. I don't want archives, but maybe I do want some custom HTML, or maybe I maybe I had this awesome podcast that I did, and I wanna I wanna make I wanna put that front and center, right? Now each widget will give you different things, okay? So you have to learn what the details are there. But you know, if you, there's no audio selected, well, clearly you have to go and add some audio, so you can upload files, blah 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 blah, okay? But now that's I've got what I want. Yeah, that will that will play the audio. You just click it, and um, and there and there it goes. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, some of these things you may or may not know what they do, but it's enough at this point to know that they exist. You can play with them. Okay. I like this arbitrary text one because it gives me a little place to put like, welcome. All right. Um, here's fabulous stuff about me and I can make this into a link. I think I might have to do the whole thing. All right. Let me click apply. Maybe I want to put an image. Okay. I don't have any images up here, but I can insert something from a URL. So let's see. Here's this picture of Queen Elizabeth because I was working on a lecture for uh, Pierre, your first class. <laughs> all right. And there it is. I can add captions and all that sort of stuff. Let me, um, and then I'll get to your question. I'm going to say insert into post. All right. And then I'm going to say, and then if I go back here and click refresh, there it is. Right. So Pierre, what's your question? I think you kind of answered it already. I was going to ask is if the text widget was the one that you used for your website, Sir Socia, Sir Cosia. Cerosia, um, yeah. With the, <laughs> with the links um, underneath the picture. I was going to ask if that's the text widget. Yep, that's the text widget. Exactly, right? So it is like, it looks fancy, right? When you see it. But then when you look at the back end and you see how it's put together, there's a little bit of a learning curve, right? I'm not going to lie. And you'll get better as you play with it. But the basics are, they're dead simple, right? Um, and so really, as English majors and minors and people who are, you know, not necessarily think of ourselves as tech, tech people, you should be able to do this and, and acknowledge your ability to like make sense of, you know, complex information and, and just branch out, right? Because you can all do it, right? Um, so, so yeah, exactly. This over here, this is a text, it's a text widget, right? Simple as that. Right? <laughs> um, all right. Now some of those slightly more complicated stuff, each theme will have different sort of collections, um, main sidebar, showcase sidebar, footer, blah, 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 blah. Each theme will have different things available here. You can't add new places to your website. Okay, you can only use what's there. Um, you can delete things. Okay, if you don't put anything in there, it won't show up. Okay, but you can't add. I can't say, oh, I want to add. Uh, I want to add a third sidebar. Okay, <laughs> I can't. You can't add that. That's dependent on the theme. So each theme will allow you to do different things. Okay, you can allow you to put different things in here. Okay. Um, now, posts versus pages. Uh, that's another thing. Okay, why don't we, let's just say we're going to do a blog. Okay, so what I want you to do is to go to posts. Okay, and you'll see here, here's my draft. Remember that draft that I made that just had a bunch of gobbledygook in it, right? Blah, 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 right? Um, it just had a bunch of random stuff in it that, um, you know, you can't even see because I'm doing quick edit here. Okay, um, let me cancel this. Okay, if I go into edit, you'll see it's just a bunch of gobbledygook. It's blah, 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 blah. I don't even know if I put anything in there, right? Um, yeah, it's just a bunch of gobbledygook, okay? I want you to go and I want you to add a new post, okay? Add a new post, just say, hey, this is my first post. Anything you want, just type some stuff in there. Um, I'm gonna add a new post and there are multiple ways you can get at it, okay? You, can, you just wanna find that add new, okay? There's also this thing up here if you want to add a new post, right? So it allows you to get added in multiple ways. But let's go ahead and add a new post. 
let's say internship week one, okay? Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna show you this cool thing, Lipsum. This will just generate a bunch of random text, okay? <laughs> Laura Ipsum. Let's generate two paragraphs of text. Uh, and now I'm just gonna copy this. Uh, all right, and I'm just gonna put it here. Blah, 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 blah. I've got, so here's my post, okay? I could put an image in here if I wanted to, right? But go ahead and add a post. It doesn't matter, you know, what it is. You can delete it later. Okay, I'm going to put my um, my picture of, uh, I'm gonna put this picture here. Okay. And you can figure out how to do all of these little details, right? This is not, you know, I can always help you with this. It's not a real difficult thing, right? But, um, all right. Maybe I wanna make this, I wanna wrap this stuff. All right, so now I've got, I've got a blog post with an image. Take a look down at the bottom of the page at the rest of the stuff that's here. Okay, I'll make this a little bit smaller so that I can see a little bit smaller so I can see more. So you can save your draft. And if you save your draft, it's not going to be public. You can see it, but nobody else can, as would make sense. Okay, you could change the visibility if you want to say, oh man, I meant to post this post two weeks ago, but I forgot. You can change the date, right? <laughs> um, now, categories is a way of organizing all of your stuff, right? So if you want to, if you want to keep a kind of, um, if you want, let's say you want to have your, your, your blog post, your blog site, your commons website, and you want to have, you want to use it for other things, not just your internship blog, right? Maybe you tag or categorize, and these are just two different ways of organizing. Maybe you want to categorize all of your posts that are related to your internship as internship, okay? So that you can find them all later and so you could say push them off to the side or make them more available in this one place okay i want to add it a category and i'm just going to say internship okay parent category you can ignore some of this stuff this just is, is about navigation you know but it doesn't matter i'm going to add a new category and then you just check so you can have as many of these as you want okay categories and tags they're both ways to organize stuff, to categorize stuff. Think about like a file system, okay? Um, if you have a big folder called called internship, you put all the stuff that's called internship in there, right? You can also tag things, okay? You can, they're both ways that you can organize stuff. I'm not gonna go into the details of what the differences are, but I would say choose one, okay? And stick with it, all right? Choose one and stick with it, either categories or tags. You can put things in multiple categories too, okay? So if you have something that's both about your internship, but also about, um, you know, uh, also a piece of writing uh, that's for your portfolio, you could also categorize it as portfolio, and then it would come up under portfolio. But you can only categorize posts, okay? Remember, posts are what you use for a blog, right? I'm not going to tag it. Featured image, you can play with this. Different themes will use featured images in different ways. There are also formats that you can play with. Um, I would just use standard until you're, you know, until you've had some time to play with it and you feel like you're interested and you want to learn more. Discussion, if you want to allow comments, maybe I don't, right? Maybe I don't want to allow anything. I just want it to be a post, you know? All right. So there it is. And now I'm going to click publish. Okay. You can also preview it and it will show you how it's going to look on, on your website, just like this. Okay. And notice that it's in internship and uncategorized, okay? And that these are links, right? So I'm gonna go back and I don't want it just to be private. I wanna publish it to the world. Now everybody can see it and it will tell you it's been published. You can view it if you want to, okay? It will keep you here, right? Um, so this, the simplest way to do a web blog site is exactly this, okay? You just set up a site, give it a name, um, and then start posting posts. That's it, okay? That's really all you need to do. Um, here's your site, and here I've got internship week one. Um, you know, the next time I post, make a post, it'll be internship week two and week three and so on, okay? That's really all you need to do. But if you wanna zhuzh it up a little bit, okay? <laughs> um, maybe you wanna get rid of this thing that says sample page, okay? Maybe you wanna change this around, you know, you wanna change the look and feel of it. All of those things are things that you can do, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard 
and I'm going to show you. Um, well, first of all, do I have any questions about that? Yeah, I have a quick question. Um, yeah. So if we change the theme, so like I picked a theme and I started adding pages and mm -hmm. they went to the toolbar and everything. If I change the theme, will I have to go add the pages again? Or you, will it okay. convert? Or does it that's change? a great, yeah, that's a, that's a fantastic question, Jordan. Okay, so first of all, remember that there are differences between posts and pages, okay? Posts are for blogs, right? And pages are for websites. Okay, so um, if I go over here, I see my posts and I'm just going to add another one just so you can kind of see what this looks like. I'm just going to do post, post two and I'm going to, I don't even know if there's anything in here. What did I just, uh, hello, um, blah, 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 there's my more Mipsum. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and it's just filler, you know. Um, so there's my second post. It's not categorized or tagged. And I'll go ahead and add a new one just so that you can see. So I have three of them. Um, I'll call this one post three. Um, and blah, 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 whatever I'm going to type in there. Um, okay. And I'm going to get to your question, Jordan, but it's important to understand that there are differences between posts and pages. This is a key WordPress thing. Okay. Um, so these are posts. All right. Now, if I go and look at my site, I'm going to refresh it and you'll see that I should have when it refreshes <laughs> eventually. Where, where is everything here? Um, there it is. Okay. Post three, post two, and post one. Okay. Now, but I've still got this thing called sample page up here and it's up here in this navigation thing. This is what Jordan is talking about. He's added pages and they all just keep kind of appearing up here, okay? Now you can imagine if you, instead of putting posts for your blog, you put pages, you'd get like 12 of them up here and then how are you gonna find them, right? It'll smush everything together and you know, it's just kind of a pain in the butt, right? So that's why you would use posts for blog posts, things that you're writing regularly and you want to kind of keep track of things like that. Anything that changes frequently, post, okay? Anything that you want to be static or stable, okay? Page, those are the two things, post versus page, okay? Now, let's talk a little bit about pages, okay? So I want to go and add some pages. Okay? If I click pages right now, it'll show me that there's this sample page, okay? And the way that most themes are set up is to put all of the new pages on your navigation board, okay, on your navigation panel, right? So for instance, here's my sample page, right? Notice how it's stuck up here in this little navigation place, okay? I bet that if I add a new one and I call it page two, page two, um, it will appear up here next to sample page. There it is. Okay. So the question is, how do I, how do I, how do I take control of this? Right? So it's not just whatever happens happens. All right. And that's where Jordan's question comes in. Okay. So let's go back to the dashboard. Right. Now this has to do with appearance. All right. It all has to do with appearance. Pages and posts are where you create content, but appearance is where you change how things look. Okay. So I want to go to menus. Oh, look at that. Okay. I'm going to click menus. And here you can, if you read this and look at it, it'll tell you exactly what you need to know, um, Jordan. So here's the menu structure, your default menu structure. Okay. looks like this. And when it has a, a default menu structure, will typically add your um, new pages to this, uh, hang on a second. Um, new pages will typically be added to this, okay, if you're using the default structure, okay, but you can alter it as well. So let's say it pops something over there, but you don't want it to be there. Oh, I don't want this here. I can delete it. I can remove it, okay, or I can say maybe I want that page two not, you know, to be on this side. I can drag and drop it. Maybe I want it to be underneath the sample page for like a menu situation, okay. Um, I'm going to save that menu, okay? So now if I go and take a look at it and refresh it, once this comes up, hello. Oh, I'm 
my computer's being weird right now. Um, save menu. Okay. You can also manage the locations. Um, oh, that's what I didn't do. Sorry about that. Primary menu, you have to select it. Okay, menu one. All right, I'll go over that again just to make sure that you're aware. So here are all my posts, but here's my sample page with page two underneath it, okay? So that's how you can alter that, Jordan. Um, so there are a couple things to keep in mind here, but basically you wanna to go to menus. You can, I maybe I wanna create, I wanna delete this whole thing and I wanna start from scratch, okay? Cause I wanna know exactly how things are organized, okay? I'm gonna delete that menu. I'm gonna create a new menu and I'm gonna call it something like main nav menu. You'll see that this is usually what I do. I call it main nav men. <laughs> I'm gonna create the menu, okay? And now I can just add stuff here, okay? So I can add maybe um, all of my pages. Maybe I wanna have a home page, okay? I wanna have all of my pages here, okay? Maybe I don't want them to be um, separate. I want them all to be in, embedded. And you can do, you can do as many in, in indentations as you like, right? So this is all about organization. Remember, if you're writing your essay, you have to think about how you're going to organize it, okay? This is how you do it, okay? If you want to automatically add your pages to top level, you know, to, to that menu, which is the default, then you click that in the menus that sort of naturally exist, and you click that. But I would say don't do that, all right? Maybe I want also to add particular posts, like this is a really well-respected post that lots of people are into. I want to make it easy for them to find it, and I'm going to add it to my menu, okay? Maybe I also want to have a link that just goes someplace. Um, let's make it go to, to our English department blog, and I want to call it a, because that's the title of it, I'm going to add that to the menu. Okay. And there it is. Categories. Anything that I've categorized, I can add to my menu, which is pretty freaking cool. Okay. So maybe I have a, a menu item that's just all of my internship stuff. Okay. So I don't need this post up here. I'm going to remove that. Um, but I have all of the things that are related to my internship in a, in a category called internship, right? Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. Um, and you can change the way it looks. You can give it a capitalization here. It won't change anything else, okay? Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to remove that. Um, but you could just redo it, right? It's super simple, okay? Uh, and now I wanna save the menu, okay? And there are other things you can do, right? Um, so now let's, let's go and see what it looks like. All right, uh, is this the right, is this the right one? Let me see. I don't know why the literary newspaper newsletter thing isn't up here, but I think I might have to manage the location again. Oh yeah, see, it doesn't have any menu there, so I have to actually add it. This is the same problem I had before, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. And so now I have a navigation bar that has a link that will take me to um, our blog post, our, our the university, um, the department website, okay? You can put anything there you want. And then I have uh, a link to categories. So everything that's been categorized, right, as internship will appear here, okay? Which is quite nice. It's a really easy finding tool, right? Um, so, um, so menu is going to be really important for you, all right? Uh, so let me see. Some folks had some questions. Um, okay, great. Um, all right, so why don't I stop the share, okay, and see if you can create a new menu for yourself, okay? You've got a couple blog posts. You've got a couple pages now. Go ahead and make sure that you've got some blog posts. You've got some pages. Create a new menu for yourself, okay, um, and see if you can make that work, all right? And if you have troubles, let me know, and you can share your screen, and I'll walk you through it, okay? Any general questions right now? So the pages are just optional. If I if we plan to just do a blog, then we just have to focus on the posts. Yep, yep. But I would really encourage you to have at least one page that's called something like about me. 
And that's okay. where you put information of, uh, about you, you know, about who you are, right? Give a okay. little bio and a picture maybe, right? So if you want to, create a post, I would say for the time being, go ahead and create a blank post, or sorry, a blank page that says that's titled about me, right? And you can put anything in there you want, it can be empty, but a space holder, okay? okay. Um, and then you'll be able to use that as to help you play with the menu situation. Okay. Khadija, how's it going? How's it going? Are you are you still hanging in there with us or? Excellent. <laughs> Dr. Peebles, are you hanging in there or are you are you working on emails? Uh, book orders actually, but I am still paying attention, I promise. <laughs> okay, we're <laughs> just playing. <laughs> Yeah, so your tasks are to are you glad you're not chair anymore i i am <laughs> this actually. is not your problem <laughs> yeah i am actually but uh yeah so so your tasks are to create a couple yeah. dummy posts and create at least one dummy page okay like an about me page okay um and then see if you can create a new navigation structure right for your website I should say Dr. Howe was an excellent department chair. Aw, that's so sweet. <laughs> Much more organized than I can ever hope to be. Well, I don't know. I, I can only hope that my, uh, that my classes are, <laughs> classes are like a totally different situation. I don't know. It's like this. I just start to talk and stuff happens. <laughs> okay, so how do I find yes. the What's that, Joanna? How do you find the menu again? Because I added a page, but now I can't navigation. Okay, share your screen with me. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of times when you're just learning something new, right? This is in any walk of life, right? You're learning something new and you try something and it doesn't work the way you expect it. That's totally okay, right? <laughs> that's what learning is all about. All right, so, uh, so let's go and find, um, all right, so you want to go where what do you want to find you want to find so i'm supposed to change like the navigation menu right because i have the blog ah. post that i did about me page yeah. so this is actually a really great example um it's probably there under pages okay um but this is a great example of a theme okay this theme does not put the navigation bar in the same place that the theme that i chose did okay so it may be that it's here under pages but I think this is probably a widget, okay? Your theme does not have a navigation thing set up by default, okay? That's a theme, it's a theme that you chose. So go to, uh, go to blog posts by Joanna and go to dashboard, sorry, um, up at the very top. Yeah, and go to dashboard. All right, now let's go to appearance and let's just see what, see what it's doing under here. And let's go to menus, all right? Okay, so menu structure, you've got this up here. Um, part of it is, is gonna have to do with, um, yeah, I think that's what's happening. Yours is putting your menu structure in that block up there. So why don't we go create a new menu? Okay. Click create new menu and let's just test it, right? Give it a name, let's say call it main nav and let's just see, cause I don't know about the scene, you know? Main nav. All right, so click create menu. I think it's blocking it. Okay. All right. Now drag and drop a couple things over there. Maybe do maybe do your about me, um, and uh, home and about me, and then put something underneath that. Do you remember how to do that? Um. Yeah. So so do just click it right. And this is, these are just your most recent ones, right? So you've got other things. So go ahead and click add to menu, all right? And just so that we know that we're looking at something different, put your sample page underneath about me, just drag it sort of over, uh, sorry, um, like indent it underneath about me. Yeah, there you go, okay. And let's click, um, click save menu, okay. 
Now go up to manage location, see how this is visible now. It wasn't visible before. Main navigation, uh, click, pull that down and click main nav, okay? Click save, right? Uh, and see, it says theme location, has it under assigned menu. This is, this is part of the specific theme, right? It will tell you kind of where it's gonna put it anyway, right? But you can move that around. Um, all right, now let's go and, and take a look at it. Okay, so just click. Uh, no, go to, um, go to blog posts by Joanna and then click view site, visit site. Yep. Okay, so uh, let me take a look. Is, oh, go up to the top. There it is, see the about me? Okay. And it says sample page. So the first one that you had, it was because it was the, uh, mostly because it was the, the sort of, um, it was the default navigation structure. And, um, and I think people typically with this theme probably don't use navigations like that. It's just the nature of the theme, right? But you can add it and that's where it will put it up there. Okay. Okay. So okay. now you and have then... it and, and you can delete the other one if you want and yeah. Okay, and if I wanted to like delete some of this stuff, yep. I could. Yep. Okay. Go to your go, go back to your dashboard, and go to appearance and widgets. Um, widgets. It's there. You go. All right, and uh, see how it says left column and right column. See how this looks differently from the one that I was showing you. This is what I mean by a theme. The theme for this I don't know what it's called, but this theme has a left column and a right column. And that's all you have, okay? So if you don't want the search, you can get rid of that. If you don't want the recent posts or comments, let's get rid of the comments. Um, open that up. It's got a little drop down menu and then click delete, okay? That's all, it's deleted now. If you were to go back, it would be gone, okay? Um, you can drag and drop other things over there. There's also the right column, click down. Is there anything in the right column? I don't even know, no, okay? So you can add things over there, but these are the spaces you have to work with, okay? Does that make okay. sense? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, sure. How's it I going? A, yeah, go ahead, Jordan. Question. Can I share my screen? Yep. Okay. All right, I hope I did that right. Can yep. you see my main page? Uh yep. Okay, so um so I have my things up here, mm -hmm. uh, just you know, for editing purposes for the workshop. Um, and extracurricular, I was just going to add like hobbies and stuff like music, mm -hmm. board games, you know, the things I like. Um, but I can't seem to get like a menu to come up. And okay. so when I go to dashboard mm -hmm. and I go down to appearance menus, yeah. So it says select menu to edit extracurricular, which I want. Oh. And then it says add menu items from the column on the left. So I how do I get? The okay. things to show up here. I see. Okay, so go up to the top, see where it says select a menu to edit um, and pull that drop yes. down, down, pull, pull okay. that down. Okay, so see you have a, you have a, you have two menus, one that's called menu, main navigation, menu one, mm -hmm. click that for a second, main menu one. Okay. Select it. All right, see how you've got all uh, this up right. here? Okay, so you, you created, you now have two menus and then what the way WordPress works is it will say, all right, which of these two menus do you want to stick here, right? Maybe you want to put that second menu over in this widget space, which you could do, okay? Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of, you, you create the content first and then you create, and then you create this, you, and then you put that content into a structure, right? Okay. And the structure is this menu, right? So if you want to add things underneath extracurricular, you don't have to create a new menu. What you do is you put your posts underneath that, okay? okay or you just, you just write in that page. So let's say you have, if you wanna have three sub pages, um, one for um, board games and one for video games, okay? Mm -hmm. You would create two new pages, one that's called board games and one that's called video games. And then you'd put them underneath extracurricular and you'd indent them. Okay, okay? that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, so why don't we try it right now? Add okay. writing and art. Let's just add them twice, okay? Put right, put take, see the most recent pages, click writing and art and mm -hmm. add them to the menu and you, they should double, I believe. Yep. Okay, now drag and drop under extracurricular and indent them a little bit. There you go. Oh. Okay. Okay. There you go. And yeah, and so you can, exactly, there you go. And click save and you'll see what it, what it looks like, okay? Okay. Um, but you want to make sure that you're using this. I think you are. Go up to manage locations, just make to make sure that you're, 
Okay, good. And you're using the menu one. All right, great. So now when you go and look at your site, um, there you go. Great. Uh, you'll see cool. it there. Okay. Awesome. So so you, all you need to do really is create one menu and you don't even really need to do that, right? If you just wanna have a blog and maybe one page, you can just use the default situation and it'll automatically put new pages up there and it'll automatically default to your blog in the main reading space, cool. okay? But if you wanna change anything, that's when things get a little bit hairier. And so I just wanna make sure that you know what the differences are, mm -hmm. okay? Cool. Pierre, how's it, yeah, Pierre, how's it going? I think it's going well. Let me share my screen. Okay. All right. And this is, wait, let me go to the main page. All right. So what I was trying to work on is mm -hmm. deleting these because when I go to dashboard, let me see, and I go to appearance, I go to widgets, mm -hmm. and there's no area right. for the sidebar. So pull down, pull down some of these other ones, secondary widget area. Open that and then do first footer. Let's just see where what all of these say. Cause sometimes it's in places. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, so this may be a situation where that theme has them, it defaults, right? It, if there's ever a question, you're like, I know what I'm doing and it's not here. It does, there's no, there's no widget I can delete here. It's most likely because of the theme, okay? So I bet if you were to swap out a theme, okay, change the theme, um, then it will it will look different, okay. Um, so, yeah, let's let's try it. Let's just see what happens. Grab another one, maybe the um, Brian Blue Zinfandel or something, or Colored Paper, any one of those ones that have that has text. No. So let's go ahead and visit the site just to see what it looks like. No. Okay, so it looks a little different here. We've got the recent, see how it defaults, it adds a bunch of other stuff over here, right? So let's go back and look at the dashboard, but, but, the, but the basic structure is the same, right? You've still got your menu and everything, right? So let's go back and look at the widgets. See how it, it looks a little bit different? You got sidebar one and two. So if you open those up um, and recent comments, you can delete all of these other things, okay? Yeah. So some of the, sometimes if they're there, you can delete them. If they're not there, it's a part of the theme and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. It. Um, all right. It looks like Joanna, um, Joanna has to leave. Um, I, so I want to show one more thing. Um, and she says she's going to just be listening. So I want to show you one more thing. Let me, now, um, no, sorry. What's that? Let me stop sharing. Uh, okay. How do I, get I think all it's right. down at the bottom. I think you can, somehow click stop sharing mine. If I have too many things on the screen, it sometimes gets covered up. Don't worry too much about it. I can, I can delete it. I can, I can swap it out. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. All right. So um, I am going to, I'm going to share my screen. Um, all right, great. Okay. So, so now you know how um, themes work. All right. You know, you know how to set up a site, you know how themes work, you know the difference between pages and posts, okay? You know how to create different pages and posts, you know how to create a new menu structure, okay? You know how to add and delete widgets, right? Um, now I wanna show you if you want how to sort of adjust the more structural reading experience that your audience might have, okay? Um, so let's say, remember I showed you on my website, how when people land on my website, it's built on WordPress, but it doesn't go directly to the blog, right? It goes to my about me page. It goes to my splash landing page or whatever. Okay. WordPress was developed as a blogging platform. It's developed as a content management system that prioritizes blogging. Okay. Um, it wasn't set up like Wix, for instance, or Squarespace to just be a website. It was set up primarily to be a blogging place that also allows you to do websites. So when you start up a new, a new WordPress site, it will default to putting your blog front and center. Okay, so you can change that. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm going to also explain why it works like this. Okay, um, if you go under settings, uh, okay, and you'll see the options here, right? general, writing, reading, discussion, media, permalinks, blah, 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 okay? 
this is where you set those things, okay? And it, it, it is intuitive, it makes sense if you think about it, it's, it may just be not quite as intuitive as you think about it. But if you wanna change how people read your blog, okay, this is where you go, right? So I want to change, I don't want Pierre to, to experience my, my website primarily as a blog. I want him to experience my website primarily as a website. So I wanna change how he reads my blog, okay? So I'm gonna go settings and reading. If you want to change writing, um, that will have to do with comments and things like that, discussion, right? I'm gonna to go to settings and reading, right? And I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So reading settings, my homepage displays what? My latest blog posts, notice how that's selected and it defaults to it, okay? Do I want my homepage to display my blog posts or do I want it to display a static page, right? Well, obviously, when I set mine up, I didn't want it to go to my blog post immediately. I wanted it to go to a static page, right? That was called whatever. And these are all the pages that you've created. Maybe your about me page. That's what I did, right? I'm gonna call it page two, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, now that means that I need to have a place for my blog posts to go if I wanna keep them. If I don't wanna have blog posts, if I just want this to be a static website entirely and I know for certain that I'm never gonna wanna blog, right? or I don't know for certain, whatever. Um, I can just leave this blank. Post page, I don't want it to go anywhere. I just wanna delete the blog altogether, right? It won't be deleted, it just won't be visible, okay? Um, but maybe I wanna put my posts on a separate page. Maybe I wanna put them on a page that, a page that I'm gonna create right now, just so that we can, you can see how this works. Um, I'm gonna create a new page and I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it internship blog. nothing in here. Don't put anything in here. Okay. I'm going to publish it. All right. Uh, and so, and let me go ahead and create a new page. It's called about me. And I'll just show you how this works. Okay. And blah, 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 blah. Here's my stuff. I might put a picture, whatever. Okay. Um, so now I've just created two pages. All right. So I'm going to go back to my settings. All right. I'm going to go back to reading reading. Um, I want my home page to display not my latest posts, but I want it to display my about me page. Okay. And I am going to have posts, but I don't want them to be my home page. I want my posts page to be under this new page I created called internship blog. Okay. And here you can say, maybe I, I don't want, maybe I only want to show two, three posts at a time, whatever. Site visibility, these are some other things that you can do if you want to password protect your site. This, all of this is about how people can read or the reading experience of your blog, okay? So that's why it makes sense. But you do have to kind of think about it a little bit. I'm gonna click Save Changes, all right? And now if I go back and look at this and maybe, maybe make sure that the menu I'm using um, captured those things. So just let me do that real quick. Um, make sure that my menus, I've added that to it. Here's my internship home. I'm going to delete this one um, and I'm going to put my internship blog there instead. Okay. All right. And I'm going to put my about page here and I'm going to put that here. All right. So now I'm going to save my menu. So I've, I've, I've altered my menu. I've added a couple of pages, altered my menu. And then what I did was I went to um, settings and reading and then I defined, right, how I wanted people to experience my site, All right? Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. So now I'm gonna go and show you what this looks like, just so you can kind of get a sense of it. All right, so you'll notice that when this site loads, this is the page that comes up about Dr. Howe. See how it's bolded here? And that's also my homepage, I believe, right? There you go. My internship blog is here. And here's where all my posts are, posts one, two, and three, okay? So now if I wanted to set up a site that was more of like a portfolio for my writing stuff, my, my, you know, my static you know, works that I've done, but I also wanna have a blog, I just don't want it to be front and center, you can move it, okay? It takes a little bit of doing, but you know, it's not hard, okay? Um, does that make sense? All right, so um, the only other thing that I wanna show you is how to do um, 
how to do how to deal with some of the images. Okay, so you'll notice that this theme every time I refresh, it will give me a new image. Okay, that's just because of the theme. Okay, so I want to go up to dashboard again. Right. And I want to go back to settings. Uh, so there are a couple places. I want to look at settings and I want to look at appearance, but let's look at settings first. Let's take a look at the general settings page. All right, here's where you can change your site title. Let's say this is a stupid site title. I want to change that, right? <laughs> now I can put Dr. Howe's journal, right? Um, maybe I don't want this silly default tagline. I want to say something about um, higher education professional seeking new opportunities, whatever. Okay. Um, you can also say, you know, if you want your, this is your email address, it will default, right? Um, that way. Date format, these are options, you know, that you can have, time format, et cetera. Week starts on what, right? And that's for blogging purposes. And especially if you have like the archive, if it would be set up on a week kind of thing, like a, like a calendar, right? So now I've changed my site title. So it's no longer site title, it's Dr. Howe's journal, okay? Makes much more sense. So that's one thing I wanted to show you. The other thing I wanna show you is here under appearance. Um, you have this customize option, you have this menu and header option, you have background and theme options. Take a look at the header. And it will take you to this new look of a page, okay? Um, you can make some changes here in this custom, this is what's called, you know, customize your page, right? This is a new thing that WordPress added a few years ago. It's really annoying um, because it, it has a totally different look and feel and I hate it because it's, it's a challenge to kind of swap mentally between the dashboard and this other thing, but that's what they've done. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, so, these are the, the images that will rotate on this theme, okay? But if I wanna add a new image, I could do that. I'm gonna upload a file. Um, I'm gonna select something from my, my, my um, I don't know, I was working on a, on a Kahoot with, for my, my composition students, right? Here it is, all right? You can add stuff here. I'm gonna select it. Um, let's not use that. Let's use this. Here's a cool, cute image that I wanna use for my header, okay? There it is, all right? Now, if I want to randomize the uploaded headers, I can upload more and I can randomize them just like this, or I could just use, use this, done. Well, that's good, okay? Um, and I wanna publish it, okay, just to make sure that it saves, right, and that's good. Um, you should also be able to update, like um, uh, sometimes you'll be able to update fonts and things like that. Um, there are other options that you have under appearance, right? Um, so all, each theme will be different, but you want to check out the theme options because there may always be some, some alterations that you can make that the theme kind of builds in. So for instance, here, the default is the light color scheme, but they also have a sort of a built-in dark color scheme. The link color, you can change the link color if you want. It also has a default layer, uh, sorry, a default layout, right? So it defaults content on your left and the, na the, the sort of widgets on the right with the header up here. Right? This is a very classic layout for web pages. Most of the web pages that you encounter will look sort of like this. Okay, it's like the five paragraph essay of WordPress building. Okay, <laughs> um, but I could change it. I could put I could put my my widgets on the other side, and you just want to click save. Okay, so play around with it. All right, um, and I don't know that I have any inter any any widgets um, up on on mine. Yeah, I do have some. Here they are. Right. Um, so now they're on this side, right? Instead of on this side, all right? Um, does anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions? So as far as um, what we post, what are we, po are we posting like essays that we do in class or? Yeah, so for your internship, the, this, if you're using this just as an internship blog and not say as a larger writing portfolio, then the only thing you need to do really is have an about me page. I encourage you to do that, right? <laughs> and a blog that has weekly posts about what you're doing at work. That's it, right? But if you wanted to create a professional portfolio for yourself, 
and keep some of your, say, um, you write poetry. You want to store some of your poetry there and share it with the world, right? You could put you could put your you put your poetry up there. If you um, were really really proud of this awesome essay you wrote in Dr. Norton's 490 class, right? And you're like, this really this really showcases my writing skills, right? Maybe you want to have a writing portfolio of your your critical work, right? Um, if you're looking for jobs that in that involve writing, then you would probably want to have some writing samples up there, right? If you are a photographer, right, and you want to have a visual por portfolio for your photography, you could put that up there. Okay. Um, like I said, different themes will do will foreground different um, sort of specialties, right? Uh, but the basic WordPress site is really flexible um, with those basic like 2010, 2011, 2012 themes. They're super flexible, and they can al they'll allow you to get a really professional looking website up totally minimal effort okay for your internship the only thing that you really need though is an about me page and your blog your journal okay. i have a quick question um this is so cool i'm so into this um so on that note would you advise us to make a separate like you know i've already done like some work on this and <laughs> i'm excited to work on it more would you advise us to create a separate one for our internship blog then connecting mm -hmm. the internship blog to you know, I'm going to make like this a main type of website mm -hmm. for myself with, yeah. you know, a lot of things that I can relate to and that I like. Would you, you know, recommend we make a separate one for the internship blog, like you said, with yeah. Justin about me and an internship? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Posting so, so that's up to you, right? Um, I think that if you, um, if you want to have a, if you want to separate them and have a place where you can kind of play, right? And then a place where you are doing just this. Then, then I'd say separate them, right? But if you want to have, if you want to kind of think of it as a unified portfolio, right? Then I'd say put them together. And you can always say maybe after you've you've finished graduating, maybe after you've graduated, you don't want your internship blog to be visible there. You just take it off the menu, done, right? It's still there. You still got all your work, right? <laughs> In case you want to go back to it or somebody else wants to see it for some reason, right? Um, it's there. Uh, but, um, but you don't have to, uh, but, but you don't have to make it visible, right, to everybody else who might be reading your blog, right? So I think it depends more on how you work, right? Um, one of the really cool things about WordPress is that you can export, okay? So let me show you really quickly how to do that because I want to make sure that everybody keeps this in the back of their heads. I know, Jordan, you're a senior, right? Um, so you will lose access to your WordPress account after you, you know, six months or whatever it is after you graduate, right? So you won't have, you won't have it anymore. But WordPress.org is free or WordPress.com is a free hosting site. And most other websites, most other web hosting platforms have WordPress and will allow you to actually import a WordPress export file into it, right? So that means you can always carry it with you. You, you download it, you export it, you stick it on a flash drive or email it to yourself, whatever. And then you, and then you upload it on another WordPress platform, easy peasy, right? <laughs> so I'll show you all how to do that. Um, but can anybody guess where they think the uh, the the way to do that might be? What do you where should where do you think I should go? I'm going to go here to my dashboard, right? Where do you think I should go to export this site using our nuggets, right? Where do we think I should go? It's probably not going to be under appearance, right? Probably tools. <laughs> Tools, excellent. Look at that, available tools, import and export. So you can export all content, just posts, just pages or just media. And you click download export file and it will save it as an XML file, which is actually kind of cool because you can open it up and then edit it yourself in some kind of XML editing tool, which is kind of nice, right? And then if you want to import one, let's say you go to WordPress.com and you start your free, right, WordPress blog up here, right, um, might, might ask me to, you know, you can create an account, right, and then you just, once you do all of this, you can just import your, your Marymount blog and there it is, right. Um, you can also import, um, you can also import WordPress uh, XML files into Wix and Squarespace, I believe, right? Um, it will, it doesn't have as smooth and seamless a, um, 
uh, you know, a process, not as smooth and seamless a process because of course they're different platforms, right? And, but, but you can do it, okay? Um, so what you do with your blog or your website here, you, the point I'm trying to make is that you, you, you should start it and build on it and grow with it. And it be, can become a really great way to keep track of your growth, your writing development, you know, all sorts of things, right? And you, you won't lose it when you graduate, you will have it with you, okay? Um, let me see. There are other questions that, uh, that or other things that I wanted to tell you about. Um, I think that's probably it. Um, do you all have any questions for me? Okay, Khadija, any questions from you? Probably not. Oh, okay. She's she's texting with me. Um, doesn't seem like it. Dr. Peebles, any questions from you? Nope, but I know where I'm going to go when I have questions. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Well, so Thank you, yeah, Rhonda. yeah, sure, sure, my pleasure. Um, I think it's a really great thing for um, for us to for, for folks to do really right off the bat. I mean, it's a wonderful resource. Um, you know, we we require it for internships, but um, but we don't really require it for you know other students. And uh, and I now that you know, Dr. Peebles, maybe you can make your students do web pages. Um, Pierre in two thirty, no, not two thirty one, three forty. You're not in three forty. Um, in 340, my students are going to be creating websites, so they're going to be doing this as well, right? <laughs> you will be doing a podcast, Pierre, <laughs> which you can put up on your WordPress site now that you have one, okay? <laughs> yeah, I wish I had known about this as a freshman. This is so cool. Hey, well, well, maybe we should do it, you know, um, you know, going forward too, right? Um, but uh, Khadija does have a question. Um, great question, Khadija. Um, after you graduate, your access to the site will go away, but okay. you should download. I, guess I am still at home. I just. Uh... Uh, but what you should do, Khadija, is um, is download it, okay, and then you can upload it to any other WordPress site ever, uh, right? Um, does that make sense? I think so. That was her question. Yeah. So. Yeah, so and, and I can help you with that. Khadija, what year are you? First year, second okay, year, third year? Um, yes, I will try, try. I'm doing my best to graduate this fall. Okay. Okay. All right. So if you're graduating this fall, you have a little bit of time, I'd say work on your website, you know, um, and then be back in touch with me before you graduate. Okay. And I can walk you through how to save it. And, um, and if you want to set up your own website, like a professional website, that's, you know, your last name .com, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Um, I can show you how to do that. It's super easy. Okay. And that goes the same for, for everybody, right? You can purchase a, um, a domain name for like $12 a year, right? And you can have jordanlawton.com and that'll be yours, right? <laughs> And if you do it through WordPress, then um, then you can you can just import your blog there, and you've got a whole bunch of content already, right? That's great. Thank yeah. you. Sure thing. Sure thing. All right. Um, do you guys want to share your your websites, your little drafts? You want to share your screen and show us what you've done? We already saw Jordan's and Pierre's. Khadija, did were you able to to set anything up? Do you want to share us share it with us and show us what you did? Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Um, if you want me to take a look at it, I'm happy to email it to me. Um, uh, if you want to share it with friends, you can, uh, you've got the URL. Um, just remember that, you know, accessing can be kind of weird and clunky. Like you have to kind of go, um, you go to the commons.marymount.edu, but then you have to kind of navigate and log in and whatnot. But if you just go to your URL and type slash WP hyphen admin, you always get to your dashboard, simple as that. Okay, and you can have as many of these blogs as you want. Um, as you saw from mine on, on Marymount, I have like a list of 20 of them, <laughs> which can sometimes get a little unwieldy, but, um, but yeah, Marymount's banner is hosted on Commons. So is Magnificat, it's hosted on Commons. 
Um, I'm not sure if blue ink is, uh, but I know that that Magnificat is, and I know that the banner is. Um, so uh, if you go into publishing in the future, put WordPress on your CV, on your on your resume, right? You should do it right now. Add it as a line, <laughs> skills that you know. Okay, um, you'll you'll have this under your belt. Okay. All right, you all. Well, um, happy Wednesday, and uh, and I look forward to seeing you all around. Um, hopefully, sometime. I don't know. I'm I'm doing all of my classes now online, so I guess I just have Zoom. <laughs> it's very sad, but um, but I'll see you all at some point. And let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to email me. My email is t h o w e at marymount.edu. Um, and uh, just drop me a note, okay? Thank you. Thanks so much, Dr. Hope. Bye, you all. Have Thanks for week. coming. See everybody.